What's up fellas and fellow reps, I'm Graham, and in this video I'm going to answer a question I've had a lot of people ask me. Why did you go to Liberty University? Most of the people who ask this are using it as a conversation starter, but I've also had people ask me who aren't at Liberty or aren't even in college and just want to know. So I'm going to share the most important reasons that factored into my decision and why I chose it and how that's worked out, if that you know was a positive thing or a negative thing, if it came to my expectations or not. And if you're deciding for you yourself or someone else, maybe this can help you in some way. For starters, I wasn't originally planning to go to Liberty. I'd applied for Union University in Tennessee, which was much closer to my home. Uh, I'd taken a gap year and wasn't sure college was exactly for me, but I wanted to go to find community, to uh, have spiritual growth, and to buy time to get some of my creative projects off the ground. Union fit the bill because it didn't have a huge film program. I wanted something a little bit smaller where I could kind of just enjoy it and mold it to myself. Uh, I would be closer to a minor there and it'd give me access to equipment and just be a place where I could literally walk into the president's office and present the idea for a movie and just, you know, have more fun being a uh, know everybody on campus. Obviously, I'm a film major, but God had other plans. Union wasn't able to accept my credits I'd taken during that gap year and I was transferring in to cover a lot of my general education classes, gen eds, and I knew Liberty would accept those. As the largest Christian school in the world, they accept almost everything to help people out financially. The biggest barrier to going to Liberty was that it was so big and that it was so far away from home. But after discussing things through with my parents and praying about it, I decided to apply to see what scholarships I could get. And then I began the process of applying until I ended up where I am now. So I sort of chose Liberty because it was the only option in a way, but there was a reason it was the only option. I had strict standards about where I was going to go to find those three things I needed, community, spiritual growth, and connections. Practically every other film school in the country can provide those industry connections. They can provide more. Any college can provide community. Union would have been awesome, but God put me at liberty. The biggest thing was the spiritual environment. I know tons of people who went to public universities and non-Christian schools, but it's different for everyone. For most of them, their degree program or major isn't going to degrade them in the ways a film degree at a non-Christian school would. And many of the people I know are plugged into a church and they're uh, plugged into a BSU nearby and they're able to find that spiritual growth there. It's different for everybody, but for me, Liberty was the best option. The film program is hands-on. The motto at Liberty is learn by doing, and they practice what they preach. All the professors have worked substantially in the industry. Your entire junior year, you make movies with red cameras. Some schools brag about having like one red camera. Liberty is 25 and you actually get to use them. You don't just look at them and the professors only touch them. You literally use those to make your cycle projects that you do every week in the junior year. Liberty may not give you the biggest connections in California to get hired by a big name, but they will give you the skills you need to create your own stuff. And that's my plan. The classes aren't boring theory and analyzation. I mean, there's some of that, but they're action, they're hands-on. And best of all, it's from a Christian perspective. They'll show scenes from already in movies if it's necessary, but nothing is gratuitous. You aren't degraded. I won't go into detail, but other schools degrade you in the film program. Liberty, thank God, does not. Another reason I chose Liberty was along the same lines, the spiritual development. You can find Christians on any college campus anywhere in the world, but there's a whole lot more at Liberty. For me, it made sense to choose a place where 95% of the people you meet call themselves a Christian. Why choose suppression and a life of persecution for those four years if you don't have to? Once again, this is the best option for me, and there's tons of my friends that are at other uh, colleges and universities that aren't Christian, and they're thriving. It, it can work anywhere you go, but they're plugged into churches and their spiritual life is exploding. But for me, I chose to go to a place where it'd be easier to grow, where I'd be encouraged automatically and not have to strive and dig to find it. And it's awesome. There's a large chunk of people that are super, superficial with their spiritual walk, but there's so many that take it seriously as I do. I've grown in so many ways, and Liberty's approach is really good. Nothing spiritual is mandatory, it's not legalistic, but it's encouraged. Convocation was speakers that are strictly preachers that you're required to listen to, but campus community, the more church-like service, is voluntary. Community groups are voluntary, and the spiritual options to grow on campus are enormous. There's a prayer chapel like two minutes from my dorm that I spent a ton of time at this semester. There's worship nights led by students just randomly all over the place every week. There's deep conversations happening all over campus. It's a bubble for sure, a bubble of Christianity, but at this time of my life, I'd rather have my faith strengthened before going out into the world instead of having it torn down and depleted and then having to enter the world. For me, I knew Liberty would be the best place to grow, and I have not been disappointed. It's uh, made friendships a lot easier here. I don't have to approach every person I meet with skepticism, wondering if they'll be a bad influence. Most of the people you approach may not be your friends, but they aren't gonna be a terrible influence. It just makes walking with God easier. And for me, that was a huge reason why I chose Liberty. Once again, it can work differently for everybody else. But that was, for me, I knew it was best. So that's it in a nutshell. God guided me to Liberty, 
but I ultimately chose it for the spiritual encouragement I knew I'd get and for the film program that I knew would uplift and challenge me. But everyone's walk is different. Everyone has a different major and passion and different colleges can suit that a lot better than Liberty might for me. Liberty may not be right for you, but that's why it was right for me.